The words of Abigail Adams describe the feelings of many of the people I've spoken to in the last month. She wrote, many, very many melancholy ideas haunt my imagination upon this occasion. Perhaps those words describe your emotions as well. For people of faith, there is a source of hope and healing that we often access through prayer. And so I invite us to join together in prayer right now. God of loving grace, those of us gathered here call upon you in different languages, practices, and names. But tonight, we are all reaching out to you. As the creation groans for ultimate justice, we too yearn for that clarity, hope, and healing. Grant us clarity about the way you would have us live. Help us to find just the right words to describe the ways we should honor one another. Help us articulate a vision for all people that is inclusive and open. May we be able to clearly express our empathy for those who have suffered loss and continue to experience pain. You gave Martin a dream. He knew what he was moving towards. Grant us Martin's certainty of destination, and as he lifted the spirits of the oppressed, may we hold a vision that provides direction and encouragement. Stir our inward parts by the power of your presence. Remind us of your faithfulness in our own lives and in the lives of faithful people everywhere and in all times. There are words and actions here in America and around the world that draw us to despair. Columbine, Virginia Tech, Fort Hood, Aleppo, Aurora, Orlando, Mother Emmanuel, Sandy Hook, and so many others. But help us not to give in to that temptation. Remind us that you are steadfast and unmovable, that you are always on the side of the oppressed, that you remember victims of all acts of hate and evil. Help us to remember that even in the midst of evil, we are not alone. That as we travel through dark valleys, your presence is ever with us. Bring us hope that we may not only see your vision, but achieve it. Grant that we may be a source of strength and encouragement to one another. And as we've come to this service tonight, we come as individuals experiencing brokenness. We come as members of families that are shattered. We come as fellow citizens of a country where there is discord and uncertainty. We need healing from beyond ourselves. When we are burdened down, bring us someone who can help shoulder the load. When we feel alone, bring us a like-minded spirit. Where there is malaise, anoint us with the balm of Gilead. As we circle at your breast, may we find the clarity, hope, and healing that can only be found in you. Amen. Amen.